What's up? It's Chris Heria, and I'm an absolute smoothie lover. So today I'm going to be making five of my favorite smoothies with you guys. And I'm going to put you onto ingredients that you may never have heard of or have ever tried that the top athletes are using to be the best. A daily smoothie can be a super convenient and fast way to get your calories in in the morning, breakfast, or anytime. But of course, not all smoothies are made the same. If you're buying them already made, chances are they're packed with sugar and you're not in control of what's going inside it. And guys, eating chicken and rice every single day is not going to give you all the nutrients that your body needs. That's why it's such a life hack to start drinking smoothies, especially if you don't like to eat your vegetables with your meal. They're super quick to make and to consume, and they're slam packed with minerals, vitamins, and a whole bunch of vegetables. But best of all, it tastes delicious. So let's start with the first smoothie. All right, if you guys love ginger shots, you're going to love this one, the ginger shot smoothie. This smoothie is packed with some very special ingredients. Starting off with the first one you may have never heard of, bee pollen. When you heard Muhammad Ali say float like a butterfly and sting like a bee, he was actually giving away one of his secret ingredients. Muhammad Ali was famously known for using bee pollen. He claimed to help boost his athletic performance, endurance, and stamina. For example, it has one of the most impressive nutritional profiles with over 250 biological substances, including proteins, lipids, high antioxidant content, which is going to protect you from free radicals and chronic diseases. Bee pollen can also lower the risk of heart disease and risk factors like high blood lipids and cholesterol. It has a bunch of compounds with anti-inflammatory properties, which means it's also great for recovery. It's also going to help you avoid illness by boosting your immunity and killing bacteria. Animal studies have shown that bee pollen may enhance the absorption and utilization of nutrients and so much more. So definitely do your research on bee pollen. And guys, bee pollen is something that you can actually add to any smoothie or meal. If you have any pollen allergies, you definitely don't want to take this. But basically, bee pollen contains many vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, making it extremely healthy. So we're going to be putting a full tablespoon of bee pollen into our smoothie. Next, we're going to be putting a whole entire orange. Oranges are packed with vitamin C, which is going to boost your immune system. They protect your cells from damage and helps your body make collagen, just to name a few things. And of course, they taste delicious. This is really going to add to the flavor. Next, we're going to be putting in half a lemon into our smoothie. It's only 8 calories and 2.5 grams of carbs. Lemons are another good source of vitamin C and support heart health. They can help you control your weight, reduce cancer risks, improve your digestive health, and so much more. The pulp, rind, and juice are rich with vitamins that stimulate immunity and reduce the risk of disease. And it's super low in calories which is really important when you're making smoothies. There's so many ingredients that can go into a smoothie, you can easily just rack it up and then it can really quickly become unhealthy. The next ingredient in our super smoothie is a super food that's gonna be half a cup of ginger. Ginger can help with weight loss and may drastically lower blood sugars and improve heart disease risk factors. Ginger contains gingerol, which has strong medicinal properties. It also can help lower cholesterol levels, fight infections, and so much more. You can never have enough ginger. Next, we're gonna be adding one teaspoon of black pepper into our smoothie. Black pepper benefits your brain, improves your blood, blood sugar control, lowers your cholesterol levels, and so much more. Keep in mind that I specifically chose all the ingredients in today's video because of their beneficial properties. So make sure to research every single one because I won't have enough time in today's video to give you each one in depth. But moving on to the last main ingredient, we have one fourth cup of turmeric. Turmeric is another one with high anti-inflammatory properties. It can prevent cancer, improves digestion, boosts your immune system, promotes weight loss, detoxifies the liver, helps control diabetes, improves skin health, and so much more. And lastly, we're going to pour in three fourths cup of water, blend it all up, and that's going to give you your ginger shot smoothie. Now the macros for this ginger shot smoothie with the bee pollen is going to be 258 calories, 6.8 grams of protein, 55.4 grams of carbs, and 2.5 grams of fat. This is a great anti-inflammatory smoothie which can also be used as a pre-workout. Even though it doesn't have caffeine, it can really wake your senses, lower your cholesterol, improve heart health, protect against cell damage. It's high in vitamin C, it's going to help you regulate your blood sugar, it's going to keep you fit, and it's going to give you a strong immune system so that you don't get sick. Let's go ahead and give it a taste test. Definitely has a spice to it, a little kick, but the ginger coming down, warming up the rest of my body. If you guys like how it feels when you drink a ginger shot, this is like a huge ginger shot. And you just feel awake and amazing when you're drinking it. So give this one a shot. Let's move on to the next smoothie. All right, for those of you with a sweet tooth and that are trying to make some gains, this is gonna be the smoothie for you. We have the berry protein smoothie. I use some of the best low sugar and low calorie fruits that are packed with antioxidants and vitamins as well. And two protein sources that are low in calorie for the amount of protein. Starting off with half a cup of strawberries, that's only three 0.5 grams of sugar and over 50% of the daily recommended intake for vitamin C. Next, we're going to add in one fourth cup of blackberries, which is 1.75 grams of sugar. Blackberries are high 
and antioxidants as well as fiber. Next, we're gonna add half a cup of blueberries, which comes with a lot of antioxidants and vitamins as well. And then we're gonna start getting into our protein sources. We're gonna put in two thirds of a cup of Greek yogurt, which is this entire whole serving right here. This three fourths cup of Greek yogurt only has 110 calories. Definitely do your research on Greek yogurt. It has its own antibiotics, antioxidants, and slow releasing protein, which is gonna help fuel your muscles throughout the day. We're gonna be putting one scoop of protein, which is 25 grams of protein into our smoothie. This smoothie is gonna be really high in protein to fuel your muscle growth. We're gonna put that all in a blender and out should pop our berry smoothie. Now inside this berry smoothie is 381 calories, 41.6 grams of protein, 54 grams of carbs, and five grams of fat packed with antioxidants, essential nutrients and minerals. It's anti-inflammatory, high in calcium, and of course, high in protein to allow you to make those gains. Now this one just tastes like a dessert. It's practically like ice cream. It's got a creamy taste from the Greek yogurt, a delicious taste from all the different fruits. And normally I don't really like the taste of protein powder, but I can't even taste it in this smoothie. Definitely give this one a try if you want almost 50 grams of protein in a single cup. Moving on to the next smoothie. The first time I ever went to Mexico, I had tried green juice and I was hooked. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys my green juice smoothie. As you can tell by the name, it is packed with greens and I always feel like I'm doing such a good deed to my body whenever I drink a green juice or a green juice smoothie. We're gonna be dropping in one cup of cucumber. This is gonna help you stay hydrated. It also comes with fiber and many other vitamins like vitamin K and vitamin A. It can also lower blood sugar and contains antioxidants as well. And now you're starting to see a reoccurring theme that a lot of vegetables and fruits are actually packed with many health benefits, vitamins, and minerals. Next, we're gonna be adding a whole entire green apple, which is also rich in vitamin K, C, a, antioxidants and minerals as well. Green apples will also help you control your weight and reduce cholesterol. It's gonna help you keep a healthy heart and as they always say, an apple a day keeps a doctor away. Next, we're gonna be adding half a cup of spinach. There's a reason why Popeye ate so much spinach. Spinach contributes to energy production, can help improve your metabolism, prevents the formulation of cellulite, removes toxins, and so much more. Next, we'll be adding half a cup of kale, which is rich in vitamin A, K, and C. It also has folate, a B vitamin that's very important for brain development. It also has omega-3 fatty acids, which are very important for your joints, regulating your hormones, and so much more. Next, we're gonna add one fourth cup of celery. Celery is rich in vitamins and minerals as well with a low glycemic index. It also boosts weight loss, reduces cholesterol levels, and inflammation, lowers blood pressure, has cancer fighting antioxidants, and so much more. Next, we're gonna add in one tablespoon of hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are highly nutritious and rich in essential fatty acids. Hemp seeds are also a great source of vitamin E and minerals. They can help reduce your risk of heart disease, help skin disorders. They're also a great source of protein. Next, we're gonna add in half a cup of lemon and one fourth cup of ginger. Throw it all in a blender with one cup of water and out should pop out your green juice smoothie. Now inside this green juice smoothie is 183 calories, 7.7 .7 grams of protein, 6.7 grams of fat, and 26.1 grams of carbs. This smoothie is great for improving your gut health, reducing inflammation, boosting your energy, hydrating your skin, of course getting all your greens in for the day, as well as strengthening your immune system. Let's go ahead and give it a taste test. Cheers. Just like Mexico. So you can feel the ginger waking up your whole body. It tastes like a whole garden. I can taste the cucumbers, a bit of the spinach, but it doesn't taste bitter. It actually tastes sweet thanks to the apples. And I can feel my body thanking me every time I take a sip. So there you guys have the green juice. Definitely give this one a try. This is one of my favorites. But keep in mind guys, if you're making any of these smoothies and they're still not sweet enough for your taste, you can always add in some coconut water. This is just 45 calories. And it's packed with vitamins, calcium, minerals, and so much more. You can practically live just off of coconut water. It's gonna add a bit more calories, but it's definitely gonna taste way better if some of you guys would like to make any of these smoothies a bit sweeter. All right, next up we have the apple cider and kiwi smoothie. Now the main secret ingredient into this smoothie is gonna be half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar has so many health benefits. For starters, it improves digestion, has anti-aging properties, makes you feel fuller, lowers cholesterol, and so much more. I highly recommend continuing to look up apple cider vinegar and their benefits. Next, we're gonna drop in half a green apple, a whole entire kiwi, which is packed with antioxidants, fibers, helps with weight management, your collagen production, fights against free radicals, and so much more. And of course, they taste delicious. And lastly, you can just add in half a cup of water if you like, or if you wanna make it sweet with even more vitamins and minerals, you can add in half a cup of coconut water. Blend it all up and you should end up with your apple cider and kiwi smoothie. Now inside the smoothie is just 94 calories, one gram of protein, 38 grams of carbs, and two grams of fat. Let's go ahead and go for a taste test. That tastes like an apple kiwi slushy. This is really good. It's definitely hard to consume apple cider vinegar. It's so strong, the taste is so strong, the smell is so strong, but inside the smoothie, you really cannot taste it at all. Definitely tastes delicious. Mm. 
Definitely give this one a try. Let me know what you guys think. We're down to the final smoothie, the orange and carrot smoothie. Again, one of my favorite smoothies. So we're gonna start off with the ingredients we haven't covered yet. We're gonna be adding a cup of carrots. Carrots is another vegetable rich in vitamins and minerals. It's also packed with fiber and it's great for your skin and your hair. Carrots promote brain health, boost immunity, helps with weight loss management, and it's a good source of beta carotene. And they help with cardiovascular support, just to name a few things. Next, we're gonna be adding one tablespoon of flax seeds. Another one of those ingredients maybe you've never heard of or you just haven't tried before. But they're highly packed in nutrients as well, like omega-3s, fiber, protein. Flaxseed is particularly high in thiamine, a B vitamin that plays a key role in energy metabolism as well as cell function. It's also a great source of copper, which is involved in brain development, immune health, and iron metabolism. They can help you lower cholesterol levels and blood pressure, as well as stabilize blood sugar levels. Flax seeds are also rich in lignans, which are plant compounds that have been tested as cancer-fighting properties. And this seed has 75 to 800 times more lignans than other plant foods. Next, we're gonna be dropping in half a lime, then we're gonna add in a whole entire orange packed in vitamin C. I personally like to add a little bit of ginger. It's completely optional, but I love ginger, especially mixing it with carrot and orange. It gives it a kick and the flavors just go perfectly together. Add it all into a blender with three fourths cup of water and out should come out your orange carrot and ginger smoothie. Now inside this orange carrot smoothie, we have 179 calories, 4.9 grams of fat and 34.2 grams of carbs. Let's go for the taste test. It tastes like I just bit into an orange. It's delicious. There's something about the carrots, I don't know, it makes it more creamy of a taste, but not so sweet. And then the orange, it's more citrusy, but more sweet. They just complement each other perfectly. And it definitely doesn't taste like I'm drinking a carrot smoothie at all. This tastes delicious. You guys definitely have to give this one a try. Of course, if this is too strong for you, you can always eliminate the ginger or even add some coconut water into this, just like any of the smoothies. Same with the bee pollen, the flax seeds, the hemp seeds, and protein powder, of course, you can add into any smoothie. But not every single smoothie has to have the main purpose of having a large portion of protein, especially if you're already getting it in your meals. But if you're not and you're trying to get more protein, then I'd stick to the berry smoothie or something like it as that's specifically made for high protein consumption. Now, if you're trying to get the health benefits from all the other smoothies and ingredients, well, you're just gonna have to try them out and make them for yourself. So save this video. Give these smoothies a try. Now that you know about ingredients, you can create your own smoothie specifically for what you need. And let me know if you guys have any other cool smoothie recipes down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, definitely smash that like button. I really appreciate it and it helps YouTube share our videos to more people out there. And to show my appreciation, if you comment down below within 30 minutes of any upload, you're always gonna have a chance to win some Harry Apparel. So make sure you subscribe right now with bell notifications on so that you never miss a video. I post every single Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern time. If you guys would like more videos covering nutrition, let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see and i'll see you next thursday at 2 p.m usa eastern time my love and peace out that like button guys